A little over a year ago, I started a series called The Search for Instagram Bangers. And in this series, I broke down exactly how I edited photos in Lightroom. I don't think this accurately represents the way that I edit photos today. So what I wanted to do is break down my editing process and we're gonna do so on the device that I use the most to edit photos, which is my iPad Pro. This video is a little bit different. It's gonna be kind of silent, kind of a chill vibe. I just really want to show you guys the process that I go through when it comes to editing my photos. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So I'm gonna open up Lightroom here and I took three photos specifically for this video. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually doing tech reviews over on TikTok under the account Tech TV. So the idea is to do one minute tech reviews and I have this uh, Lenovo Chromebook that I took some pictures of to promote this to my IG story. So this is gonna be a vertical nine by 16 photo. I took three of them, so I'm gonna go ahead and see which one I like best. This one particularly, I like a lot. The thing that I don't like about it is that the computer itself, which is supposed to be the subject, is not in focus. This one right here, the computer is in focus. It's kind of the same angle, but what I don't like is that box in the upper left hand corner, and it chops off a little bit of the computer. This one's cool. I like the way the light kind of reflects on the keyboard there. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this angle, but I think for me it's gonna be between this one and this one. I really specifically like the depth on this photo right here, so I think we're gonna use it. Although the Chromebook is not the focus in this picture, it does look really good. It's kind of giving it a subtle background vibe like, hey, check out what's about to happen. And that's really the idea for this photo. Anyways, this is just going on Instagram stories. This isn't gonna be a thumbnail or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this photo and show you guys exactly how I would edit it. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that it's cropped for nine by 16 for Instagram stories. Now, as you can see, it's really dark here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the shadows. Make sure that you guys are shooting in raw because that's really gonna aid in your ability to lift shadows and bring down highlights. If you shoot in JPEG, you're probably gonna lose data. All right, so the first thing off the bat is I'm gonna apply a selective edit here in the bottom left corner with a gradient, a linear gradient, because I don't like how distracting that floor is. So I take a linear gradient and I just drop the exposure all the way down. Kind of want it to run off a little bit. And I'm also gonna drink, uh, drop the shadows a little bit as well. We're probably gonna have to do another linear gradient because it's not enough. So let's do that one more time. This time focusing on that more, you know, bottom area right there. Bring these exposure levels down. That's perfect. So you can see that I kind of took away that distraction of the floor and made the emphasis solely on the laptop and the headphones there. Now with that said, everything's still kind of dark here in the center, so I'm gonna take a circular gradient here and just bring up the exposure a little bit, bring up those shadows. You have to be careful when you're doing something like this. I can actually already see that there's a little bit of noise, so it's very important that you pay attention to that. The next thing that I'm gonna do is this upper right-hand corner is also distracting, so I'm gonna take that out to the best of my ability. Something like that's looking good already. So you might be asking, what about the top left here? Isn't that a little bright and distracting? And yes, in a way, but when you bring that down, it's, I don't know, it looks kind of silly. That's the thing that I do when I'm editing photos. I always kind of play around trial and error, so to speak, because it's really about what looks best. And the only way you're gonna be able to do that is by trying things. I'm not too opposed to it, so let's, let's just leave that like that. As you guys can see, I'm lifting up the exposure here and uh, it's, it's way too noisy in the center. So we're not gonna be able to, to lift it up any further than that. I'm gonna go over here into detail and pull up the noise reduction just a little bit. See if we can get rid of that noise right there in the middle. Another thing that you can do is you can apply a selective edit and take out the noise. I never remember if it's left or right. All right, let's bring the black levels down just a little bit. We can even do this with curves. Shadows, midtones, highlights. 
add a little bit more contrast to the mix. One thing that I like to do is to keep everything super smooth, go into effects and bring the clarity down to about negative 15 to negative 20. Makes everything look really smooth. So there's one big error when it comes to this picture and it is that the Chromebook itself doesn't have anything on the screen. That would make it stand out a lot. However, this picture was taken before I started the review process for the Chromebook. So there was nothing to put on the screen. The Chromebook wasn't even set up yet. It is what it is, but something that would make this picture a lot better is having some kind of cool image on the screen. All right, now we're gonna go into individual color edits. So first thing, I'm gonna take out a lot of the blues take out the saturation of blue. Don't really want any of that. And any blue that does remain, kind of make it look a little bit teal. Next, I'm gonna play around with the red. Not much red going on there. The only thing that's really red is on the headphones there. And that looks, that looks pretty decent. So right here, the orange tones, you can see that the table looks orange. Um, and if we bring the saturation down, I really like the way the table looks, but I don't like the way it takes away from that coffee. So I'm gonna show you guys how to apply a selective edit to fix that. So let's go ahead and bring the table down by taking the overall orange, bringing that saturation down. And then we're gonna apply a selective edit with the brush tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in here. And this is one of the reasons why I really love using the Apple Pencil, because it makes this so easy. I'm gonna try a couple things. The first thing I'm gonna do is increase the saturation and it looks like we're bringing it back. You can also apply an individual color tone. There we go. We got our coffee back. I'm gonna take another selective edit right here on the headphones. I'm gonna increase the clarity just to make them look really sharp and crisp. There we go. Same thing on the coffee, actually. Glass tends to do really well with clarity. All right, next thing we're gonna do is split toning. Split toning can make or break your photo, but it is one of the most underutilized tools out there. Split toning hands down makes it really easy for me to keep my Instagram grid uniform and kind of keep those same colors in the grid as we go along. What split toning is, if you didn't know, is it allows you to apply certain colors to certain luminance values on your photo. I know that sounds super complicated, but in short, it just means that you can add colors to the shadows and the highlights. I do this a lot with the shadows. I always like to emphasize the shadows and I'll show you how I do that right now. You're gonna see this slider on the bottom, it says balance. I just bring that all the way to the right to make sure that we're only working on the shadows. And then I go over to the shadows box and I try to look for this kind of teal bluish right about right there. You guys can see how this is affecting the shadows. You can change the tones of the shadows. Right there looks really good to me. The thing that I'm noticing is, is that the shadows are still a little light. So let's go ahead back here, bring those shadow levels down just a little bit. There we go, that looks good. Bring the black levels down just a little. See, that's looking really, really good already. This is the before and this is the after. I'm gonna decrease the runoff here. There we go. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the whites just to bring out the brighter portions of the image. Personally, I think that looks really good, guys. I'm extremely happy with this edit, so I'm just gonna leave it like that, export it as is, and throw it on my Instagram story. That gives you guys a behind the scenes look as to how I specifically edit my photos and what I look for. The biggest thing with photography is gonna be composition and lighting. Those two things can make or break your photography. When I'm out shooting pictures, I'm always looking for better composition. Can I shoot through something? Can I center something up? Can I throw something into you know, that rule of thirds grid, that top right corner, right in the middle to make it more appealing to the eye. 
And then lighting, look for patterns in lighting, try and light things uniquely. And if you can't nail it in camera, you may be able to save it in post, but you should never rely on that. However, that's why it's really important to shoot in raw, because if you do mess it up in camera, you may be able to save it in post. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you like this video, please give it a like and share with me in the comments what you guys thought of my process when it comes to editing photos. If you guys would like to see more videos like this and you're not subscribed, press the subscribe button and click the little bell to get a notification when I do drop more videos like this. That's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.